students. Welcome to our English class. Today, we are going to talk about tax questions. We need to know what is a question tag. A tag question is a short question that follows a statement. A statement is a short sentence. After the short sentence, we ask a short question that we call a tag question. So, we have a small room here to know how we ask short questions after some statements. The first, we can have an affirmative statement. When we have an affirmative statement, we have to ask a negative short question. That's why we put minus here into tag question. And after the question tag, the negative tag question, we have we expect an affirmative answer. So an affirmative short answer. This is the first case. In the second, when we have a negative statement, we have to ask an affirmative tag question and we give a negative answer to the expected answer. So this is the rule that we are going to use to see how we are going to build tag questions and expected answers. So we have two examples here. As you can see in the wood, we have two kinds of statements. And here we have the two kinds of examples. In the first case, the positive statement, we have the students are here. The students are here is a positive or an affirmative statement. So, to the question tag, we have to give a negative tag question. And the negative tag question is, aren't they? Aren't they? is a very, very short question. So, to the answer that we expect, as we have an affirmative uh, statement, we expect to have an affirmative answer, like here. Yes, they are. When we hear yes, it means that we have an affirmative answer. So, the question and the answer are very short. So to the second case, we have the same sentence but the negative one. The statement, the students aren't here, is a negative st statement. The question type is, are they? Are they? So, a positive one. The expected answer is no, they aren't. As you can see here, in the first case, the question is negative and the answer is positive. Like here, aren't they is a negative question. Yes, they are is a positive one, like the statements. For the second case, we have a negative statement, like here, the students aren't here. For the question, we have an affirmative one, an affirmative question. Are they? And the answer expected is negative like the statement. No, they aren't. So, you have to remember, when you have an auxiliary or a modal verb in the statement, you have to use it for the question tag and the expected answer as in the above examples. For example, here, we have an auxiliary verb is an auxiliary verb. The students are here. So we use the R to ask the question and we use it to give the answer. So in the second circumstance, if you have another verb in the statement, use do, does, or did according to the verb test of the statement. Here, we are going to give some examples Watcher types and expected answers, as we mentioned on the rule. The first statement is Ali is a student. When we have the statement, we have to check whether the statement is positive or negative before giving the watcher type. 
We have to remember the whole. And let me take this statement. It is affirmative. So it is a positive statement. Ali is a student. So the question type is going to be negative. The question that we are going to ask is to use the auxiliary verb in the statement. Okay? So we have to say, isn't he, because Ali is a name of a man or a boy, so masculine. We have to say, isn't he, isn't he, is, is the auxiliary verb that we have in the statement. And this is the contracted form of uh, is not. And here, this personal pronoun is here to replace the noun in the statement. So the subject, Ali, as we have to make it short. The expected answer has to be positive like the statement. So we expect to have, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes is an affirmative answer. So the second statement, Fanta has not a car. We have also an auxiliary verb, has. But the difference is, this second statement is negative because we have not into the statement. So the question mark has to be positive. Fanta has not a car. We have to say, we have to use the same auxiliary used in the statement, has, and we have to replace Fanta by the personal pronoun, she. We have to ask the question, the short question, by saying as a she. And then, to the expected answer, we have to give a negative answer like the statement. No. For the negation, she, this personal pronoun, has it. No, she has it. The next one, Uma will go to Peter, is a model for real. So we have to use it. As we said here, when we have a auxiliary or model, we have to use it. To ask the question and to give the answer, we have to use will. Negative third question. We have to say what. What is the contracted form of will not? What is the contracted form of will not? As we have to ask a negative question. Uma is going to be replaced by a personal pronoun. Won't he? As the statement is positive, the answer is expected have to be positive. Yes. Umar is the name of a boy or a man. He he will. The next one. Binda cooks dinner. And here, the verb is or a modal verb. We have to use uh, do, does, or did. Which one is correct here? We said according to the verb text. So we have to check the verb text of the statement. The verb text here is the present simple. So do has to be in the present simple. And when we take, for example, beta is the third person singular. So we have to use does. Okay? So the question has to be negative. We have to say, does not. The contracted form of does not. Being that will be replaced by she. Doesn't she. The expected answer has to be positive like the statement. We have to say, yes. She. Does. She does. The next one. She ate an ice cream. She ate an ice cream. Another verb. Not an auxiliary or another verb. To eat. But it is in the 
past. So we have to use do in the past. We have to use do in auxiliary, the verb do in the past to ask the question. So the statement is uh, positive. The question has to be negative. We have to say, didn't she? Didn't she? Did because the verb to eat is in the past. It. So the verb to do is going to be in the past. So the answer, the expected answer, will be negative, positive. I'm sorry, positive. Because the statement is positive. We have to say, yes, she did. Yes, she did. And the last one, we shall see him. Shall is uh, an auxiliary or a modal verb. It is a modal verb. We shall see him. We have to put the question in the negative form. Shall. Shall is the contracted form of shall not, as we have to make it short. Shall we? And the expected answer is going to be positive. Yes, we shall. Yes, we shall. So, you have to remember that when you have a positive statement, the question tag is going to be negative and the expected answer is going to be positive. And when you have a negative statement, the question tag has to be positive and the expected answer to be negative. And you have also to remember that when you have an auxiliary or modal verb, you have to use it to ask the question tag and to give the answer. And when you do not have an auxiliary or a modal verb, you have to use a do in the tense of the verb in the statement. So, we are going to come up with some remark. Do you know next class? Thank you very much.